Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the fourth session of Sports Tonight for the week. And of course, we are celebrating a new year. And I think this is also the first Monday um, of 2015. So we're happy uh, to be back with you. And the work has resumed. Uh, and I'm sure you are not too much in the mood to relax now. It's time uh, to get ready and roll with this new year 2015. My name is Tony Bitoe. We've made you a promise that this year we will do all we can to make sports tonight more enjoyable for you. And we will, of course, make sure that you enjoy every bit of what we've lined up for you on this edition of the show. Let me start by um, introducing to you those starting off the show with me this Monday. Uh, and of course, I will now give you an idea of what you will uh, be seeing on the show tonight. And uh, also tell you about the special guest that we have on the show that will be coming in uh, much later on. Let me start by introducing to you uh, the news editor of um, Sporting Live newspaper, one of Nigeria's uh, uh, best circulating sports daily, Oye Wuchimachuku, um, always with us on Mondays. Oye, um, wonderful time, wonderful holiday, back to work. And uh, when I saw you late last night, you were punching away. Yeah. Getting your stories knocked out. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the... After your own leave was extended, your own holidays were very extended. No, I, I needed to go on break, you know. <laughs> I've been, having worked so hard over mm. the years and, um, you know, you need to refresh, get, some, get some inspiration somehow, even if um, things happening around you are not palatable, but mm. you, you still need to get going. And that was what I did. And when you were in my office yesterday, so you saw how... How hard you are working. You are working. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Let's cross over to the blue corner, the purple corner, purple and black, the Liverpool man. Red corner. <laughs> the red corner, <laughs> the red that's the Liverpool man. Yeah. But today, good to have you on, on Sports tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Mm. It's been a, it's been a most uh, eventful weekend for a lot of people. Uh, crossing into the new year is, is, uh, is no mean feat when you consider the tremendous amount of loved ones that we've lost in 2014. Mm. Uh, we can only thank, um, thank the good Lord for his mercy and hope that 2015 is a much better year individually and collectively. Mm. And of course, uh, we, we, we will later on on the show uh, be reflecting on the FA Cup. Uh, a whole lot of games were played over the weekend. And I think about now, Liverpool should be playing. Yeah, and uh, Burnley also playing uh, mm, the Tottenham mm, Hotspurs as well. Mm. Liverpool... Uh, uh, we are at uh, AFC Wimbledon. 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 And yeah. that, that promises to be an exciting game. Well, all we'll do uh, as we go along on the show tonight is that we will try to update you um, with the results um, or updates around the game. Once goals are scored, we will try uh, on the show to update you with all of that so that if you are a Liverpool fan, you do not miss out on what is going on. It's 21 minutes now. Um, already played, sorry, 11 minutes already played in that game, Wimbledon and Liverpool still goalless. Uh, but then in the other game, Burnley and Tottenham Hotspur have played 21 minutes, still goalless uh, as well in that game. So those two FA Cup games are currently going on as we speak, have produced no goals. But we'll be talking later on um, about the FA Cup, bring your highlights as well. And uh, tonight we have the draw. Yeah, four hundred. Yeah. Four hundred will be holding yeah. tonight. Yeah. I think they've, they've at half, half, at half, half is almost at the same time the match yeah, kicked off. Yeah, okay, exactly. so the draw should be yeah. going on right now yeah. if they've not been concluded. Yeah. All right, we'll try to talk about all of that later on uh, on the show. And in case you are watching and you want to update us on Twitter, you know how to do it. Just tweet at us uh, or get across to us via the platforms that you already know about um, for Facebook. You know, channels iPhone Sports for Twitter at channels underscore sports. And of course, at Tony Vitoye, if you have seen the draw uh, for the fourth round, just tweet at those and those. And don't forget the hashtag Sports Tonight 2015 um, as you tweet at us uh, and as you get across your messages to us uh, on Sports Tonight. So we want you to get busy with us. We want you to interact with us. Let's make this year more effective with the feedback uh, so that we can really enjoy uh, Sports Tonight together. We don't want it to be a monologue. We'd like to hear from you. And the way we can hear from you is via feedback. All right. So please take advantage of all of that and let us uh, make 2015 uh, even, an even more enjoyable year uh, than 2014, the best year we've ever had. Let's make 2015 the best year uh, we've ever had um, on this show. All right, gentlemen, let's um, um, start off the show. But let's, let's start on a, on a, on a sober note because the, this weekend um, also brought to the fore uh, a whole lot in terms of... Uh, um, stories that really call for, for sober reflection. We lost uh, one of our great sons, 
um, over the weekend. Well, too many people may not know him. If you are not a follower of domestic football, you may not really know uh, this man that we're about to talk about. But over the weekend, the sad news came through from Enugu about the loss of um, one of our outstanding home base players uh, in, the early, in, the, in the early 20s. Yeah. Romano Sajinta, that's his name. Former captain of uh, Enyimba, former captain of Rangers, played for Wiki, played for Julius Berger, and was able to also play for the national team. He played in the Nations Cup team to the 2004 Nations Cup yeah. in Tunisia. And I remember yeah. he played in that third place game yeah. uh, against Mali. Sad news only, um, Romano Sajinta passed on. Yeah. The story of his passing came through over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, 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 Quite mysterious story. Uh, I was in my office on Saturday when the news um, uh, filtered in. I had to make some calls to Enugu and confirm the story that um, on New Year's uh, Eve, you know, normally mm. every morning he will wake up, you know, to go and jog. He was a coach of an academy team in Enugu. After so playing career, after he, 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 was, you know, he took, took, took a coach. Yeah, he lived a, a relatively quiet life. And that morning, you know, usually the neighbors observe that um, he has not come out of his apartment because his kids were away on holiday, mm. you know, so... So it was the only one around? It was, was the only one around, and they had to forcefully break uh, his apartment and discover that uh, he was stone dead, you know, mm. quite um, devastating. So, and I also learned that five years ago, uh, he lost his wife, and he mm. has been um, mm. quite, you know... So the children are off and now? Up, uh, I don't know how they're going to cope, mm. you know, I don't know how they're going to cope. But but a, a lot of his teammates, a lot of his teammates have been responding. Uh, on Twitter, Abi George, remember him? Yeah. Uh, was a member of the Super Eagles team. Super Eagles uh, right, right, right back. Right, 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 uh, uh, yeah, Port Vale, and was a teammate uh, with Romano Zajinta uh, at the national team at the Nations Cup in 2004. Yeah. Uh, posting messages on Twitter uh, for uh, Ojinta, asking that God will give his family and his friends the opportunity to bear the loss. It's, it's, it's a big loss. And on the domestic scene, it was. Uh, a key member of the Imba squad that won the Cup Champions League for Nigeria. So this kind of person should be celebrated even with, with his passing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mm. don't know what um, Tuli has to I, say. I, I, well, um, I was privileged to be one of those few people. Who, uh, well, a lot of the people who watched uh, Romano's Argenta in, in action, tough tackling, no nonsense. The, the very epitome of a no nonsense defender mm. that was Romano, Romano's Argenta. He took no prisoners. He had his, his headers were thunderous. His tackles were. Were, were, were incredible. He, he was just the kind of person you did not want to mess with in an 18-yard mm. box or in, in the opposition half. He was a really good defender. Uh, he was loved by a lot of his teammates, by his ex-teammates, both at the Yimba, Wiki Torres, Ranger, 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 it was mysterious. Unfortunately, uh, we don't know when any autopsy will be carried out so as to well, the cause of his death. But the facts of the matter remain that he's stone dead. We can only hope mm. that this kind mm. of death can be averted in the fu uh, um, in the future. A lot of people have talked about how our ex players, what what they what they become after they left active football, and that is why the LMC and the NFA, NFA are trying to come up like a pension scheme mm. for these something players. To fall back something on. to fall back on. Mm. When we are not saying that um, he was impoverished in any way. But we're just saying that maybe if he has some kind of medical insurance, maybe they might have detected, detected something that was wrong with him before he might have died untimely. Mm. So I'm just hoping that these kind of things, that it's all talk that we've heard about in, in the past, about having medical insurance and pension schemes for ex-footballers. It is now time for us to match those words what with action. Happen. We've talked about it for too long. Let's hope that something can be done. All right. So once again, we commiserate with the family of uh, Romano Sajinta. Uh, commiserate with his friends and pray that uh, God will give them the strength uh, to bear this loss and uh, pray uh, that uh, the soul of Romano Zajinta will rest in peace. All right, let, let's move out of Nigeria. Still talking about uh, footballers passing on. This, I mean, was rather premature, uh, the passing on of this guy. We're taking you to Russia now to talk about a certain young lad whose career is just starting, just blossoming, uh, plays for Anji Makashkala. Uh, at some time, that club was reputed as having the richest players in the world. But this story, really, really unfortunate. It has to do with uh, a guy called Gazan Magomedov, 20 year old, died under very tragic circumstances. <coughs> this one, he didn't die in his sleep. This one was gunned down. Tragic. Machine gun ammunition. Wow. <laughs> so it, it, it How was... can you explain this? 20 years old. No, the, the, the area. Cross, cross in uh, gunfire. The area, the, the area he comes from, you know, is notorious because it's an area where 
uh, Islamic fundamentalists and uh, Russian security forces are so always having, at loggerhead. Mm. You know, so, so it was unfortunate that he got involved in the crossfire. It was, it was, it was caught in crossfire. I'm not sure if it was crossfire. It was an assassination attempt. No, but like, so what would a 20 year old be doing with an assassination attempt? About 20 years old. ammunition. Wait, wait. You know, the truth about it, the, the area they come out particularly resting. A lot of these people have blood vendettas of feuds that, that, that mm. go back for decades, maybe family feuds. Maybe, we are not really sure. Could have been a hit? Could have been just a oh, but, 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 on the crossfire? Mm. But the fact remains that the poor gentleman was gone down. And, uh, and this is the basic reason why Andy, in the heydays when they were still banked by Suleiman Karimov, the former billionaire owner, used to base the team in Moscow. Mm. They used to fly, or they used to live and train in Moscow, but they would fly 800 kilometers to Dagestan, that is where the Anzis is originally based to play their matches. Immediately after that, they fly back because of the restive and insecure nature of the, of, of the area of the which they are based. So, but uh, it's really sad. Mm. Uh, the club are saying that they are hoping that the security forces will arrest someone who is, who, who is responsible for this. But I don't have my hopes up. This, this, mm. That part, area, like Onye said, is particularly difficult, okay. very restive, mm. always having rebels and security forces exchanging gunfire. Gun, 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 machine gunfire in the streets of, uh, of Dagestan or in the North Caucasus mm. is, is no big deal. It's an everyday occurrence. So mm. for you to actually fish out a culprit will be very difficult. This player might just have died in vain. Wow, that's tragic and uh, really, really sad. But we hope that uh, this will be the last time we'll be hearing stories like these um, about football. I mean, you wonder, a 20-year-old footballer, what exactly could have gone wrong with all of that? But still talking about this, um, finally, to, to talk about this, still um, mourning respected sports personalities who have passed on. Let's talk about a broadcast at this time. And I mean, now that you've seen this picture, I'm sure memories are flooding your mind because this guy easily one of the more popular faces you will find on cable TV. Worked with ESPN as yeah. a sports commentator uh, and he was always at the ESPN Sports Center bringing a lot of interesting stories and reports that thrilled us all, street fans all across the world. But sadly, uh, Oye, uh, Stuart Scott lost his battle to cancer and yeah. he passed on. Yeah, he, he brought a lot of flair uh, and entertainment to his um, style of presentation mm -hmm. and that was why he was uh, greatly loved. Uh, he, he was diagnosed uh, with uh, cancer a few years ago. He recovered, then he went to, into relapse. And he, the, the amazing story is that um, even when he was hospitalized, he, he still kept doing the job. He kept doing the job, and he even he went, went, went to the gym. Mm. You know, so he, his story was that of um, courage in, in uh, adversity. We, we just hope that uh, the family will have the fortitude to bear this uh, irreparable mm. loss. All right. So, well, one of us. That's how we can how we can refer to him, a broadcaster. Stuart Scott uh, lost the battle to cancer, but of course his memories uh, will li live on for much longer. All right, so let's um, move away from all of this. We'll go on a quick break. When we return from the break, there's plenty more to talk about on the program tonight. We'll look, of course, forward to the 2014 Glow Cup Awards just a few days away. We will spend time to also look at something that is raging. It's a controversy that is raging and is an unfortunate one around M.M. Edward. Hopefully, we should be taking you to Padako to find out exactly what is going on with M.M. Edward. We will also on the program tonight talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Super Falcons as well of Nigeria. There's plenty more for